shove an ultra ball up my ass and call me the name of a character from the cyberpunk edge runner anime i am back home from my doctor's appointments those mri scans were fucking awful especially because they were two hours late on getting me into the machine from my original time that i was supposed to get in there so let's talk about why ycs ook trick 2022 is well a really irrelevant event let's dive on into it shall we They have a living boo stain out of that subscribe button so we can get to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. By the time you're making this video, we're at 971 subscribers, which means we're only 29, just 29 away. Someone go make some 29 alternate accounts. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> Be sure to smash that bell, like button, all that good stuff. All jokes aside, I really do appreciate all of the support. Really quick for those of you who are wondering about my health, I am overall pretty good. My dumbass forgot my Wellareg, which is the name of the medication I take for my VHL cancer. So I was two days without my cancer meds and I feel like fucking dog shit. So keep that in mind as you watch this video. I'm going to do the best I can to make this. Just know that if you don't see a video every day and if you start seeing them every other day, like sometimes I do, it's just because I'm trying to recover after being gone for a couple days. These trips take a lot out of me and being off my meds for two days, I feel like fucking shit. So with all that out of the way, let's get into this. So YCS Ook Trick 2022, I'm probably mispronouncing the fuck out of that, happened this past weekend and Runic Sprite was in first and second place and Joshua Schmidt is now a three-time YCS winner, and I think the second place individual, like, I think that they were friends or teammates or something. Anyway, they were both playing very similar builds. And the deck is just fucking bonkers. I've been testing it out for myself as someone who's playing pure runic for the time being. Very combo oriented, very complicated. You really need to know what you're doing. You need a lot of technical play, and that's totally fine. But the issue that I have with this event is that it seems to be a very irrelevant event. Now, why do I say this? Well, primarily because of the fact that Darkwing Blast was not legal for this event. Darkwing Blast is not going to be legal for the first big event until YCS Minneapolis, which is this weekend, October, what is it, 22nd through 24th, something like that. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the this particular YCS was just a bad thing, because even though it's irrelevant in the sense of Darkwing Blast wasn't there. We still don't have Magnificent Mavens and we won't have it for Minneapolis. We won't get it until November. We can still take notes from the fact that Runic Sprite won. This is Runic's first win and Tier Element still doesn't have anything. Now, of course, that's going to change once we get the Mills port, but that's a different video for a different day. The fact remains that you can still take notes from side deck and even some extra deck and main deck options uh, from this event. You can see what's doing well right now in preparation for what's going to be out in Darkwing Blast. Remember, we're getting the buy steel stuff, the Kishtari or the Kishatri as it's called in the OCG will be legal uh, for YCS Minneapolis. It's going to be in Darkwing Blast. And so even though I wouldn't recommend taking just a straight deck list from YCS Utrecht and playing it at an event, whether it's a regional or a YCS, what have you, you can take notes from the fact of, okay, what are the most represented decks? Okay, this is the deck I'm going to play going into Darkwing Blast, or this is the deck I'm going to play going into Magnificent Mavens. You know, in that regard, there's a lot that you can pull from it. However, it's kind of useless and irrelevant in the fact that, again, Darkwing Blast wasn't legal. We didn't have all these new cards. This is the first big YCS post ban list. So the only amount of information you can take from is, okay, these are the best decks right now before Darkwing Blast drops. And it's not that Darkwing Blast is an absolutely amazing set, right? Like it's pretty much, other than like some side stuff like Kishtari and Bysteel, it's pretty much Blackwing the set. Maybe Spellbound depending on who you are. But it, it's it's not that great of a set. And I think that that's just sort of unfortunate. It is what it is with Yu-Gi-Oh! You're going to have sets that are bangers like Power of the Elements, which to this day I still say is one of the best sets of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! And really when you're coming off of the heels of a set like that, it's hard to put out something that is just as good if not better because Power of the Elements was just that good. You know, you look at the prices of sealed product and it's still 70 plus dollars for boxes which is insane. That goes to show it was a great set to invest in. And Darkwing Blast 
does shake up the meta in the sense of the generically good things it offers to the game. You know, Kishtari Fenrir is basically just a 2022 Cyber Dragon or a 2022 Pankratops. It's just better than those cards. Like you look at Cyber Dragon and Fenrir and you're like, okay, they both special summon themselves if you don't have any monsters, but Fenrir just does so much more compared to even something like Cyber Dragon. And Cyber Dragon has been played competitively for years. And now it's I mean, you could argue that Pankratops kind of power crept it, but besides the point, you could argue that now Cyber Dragon is getting power crept in the sense of generically good cards. And once you have those cards, especially in a format where you have things like Dragon Link that can use the Buy Steel cards, that maybe Dragon Link turns more into a control deck, or tier elements that can use the Buy Steel cards, Sprite can use the Buy Steel cards, or even side deck them just to use as DD Crow type of cards uh, to mess with the opponent's plays and have them serve as interruptions. Uh, and then also, you know, you factor in that come November, hey, we're going to get the mill stuff, and that's when things are really going to change. And it's both a good and a bad thing, right? Because it really sucks when you look at an event that, don't get me wrong, was as cool as YCS Uptrick, especially to see Runic Sprite running it back home. Uh, it sucks to see that it's basically sort of invalidated because... It wasn't with Darkwing Blast stuff. It wasn't with Magnificent Maven stuff. It wasn't with all of these new toys, so to speak, that we now have to play with. Doesn't mean that, again, you still can't take notes from it. You can. It's just you have to have that asterisk there to say, wait a minute, I can't just take this build straight on, copy it, or you know, even say that it's going to be perfect because... You still have to factor in Darkwing Blast. You have to factor in that in November, the game is drastically going to change when we get that milling support. And also too, Darkwing Blast had the new Naturia support. And especially more once we get the mill support than right now, because Naturia is good, but it gets better with the mill support debatably. Once we get that mill support, then Naturia is really going to be able to pop off. You know, you can't tell me that Naturia Beast and Barkion aren't good ass cards because they fucking are. I mean, uh, shit, like they, they have so much coverage for negation. They have all of these good cards that were before hard once per turns. Like you think of things like, uh, what is it, Bamboo Shoot? Like just all of this good stuff. I don't even know what Naturias do. I just know that they can shit out a lot of negates. And that's always a good thing in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, you look at Pendulums with their 13 plus negate boards or whatever it is that Triff is making these days. <laughs> so guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Did you even really pay attention to YCS Utrecht? Did you even know what was going on? Because I didn't know what was going on. Granted, I was stressed out because I had all these, you know, MRI scans to do and, and stuff like that. So I had a lot more other things on my plate. Um, but please let me know, is there something that I missed in all this is, are my meds messing with my head? Cause I know I'm, I'm sort of feel like I'm in a, in a daze right now, still trying to recover from everything. So guys, uh, hopefully this video was good for you. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, I promise you I'm going to be getting back in the groove. I just, I need some time to roll back on into it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.